Next, Pedro Prata from Escola de Gente in Brazil. My name is Pedro Prata, and when I was 18, I participated at the first project of Escola de Gente. It was an encounter about inclusion and accessibility. It was transforming. I became a professional that can intervene whenever the right is violated, especially of persons with disabilities. Today, I coordinate this NGO, and I have the opportunity to present to you this project. It has the potential to guarantee the equity between persons with and without disability. How? Transforming a generation of people to not discriminate. Companies and organizations seek young professionals that understand the diversity and inclusion with the depth that the contemporary world needs. But who trains this youth? No one. But young people have no support. They have to learn on their own about inclusion and accessibility. And no, this is not the way. Our project, Accessibility Promotion Agencies, faces this challenge. We develop a deep training program of 45 hours in seven modules. Inclusion and ethics of diversity, rights of persons with disability and decent work, accessible communication, audio description, accessible culture, physical accessibility, and sign language. Our uniqueness is that we offer total accessibility in communication, allowing youth with and without disabilities to experience together all the forms of human communication. Full accessibility in all the moments, even when there is no one with disability. Uh, it is a complete experience of how every communication should be that is accessible. We think and we work with all the disabilities. Everyone learns together not to discriminate. We trained 250 young people in, in low-income communities. According to the UN, 80% of persons with disabilities live in poverty countries like Brazil. Even in the context, we saw young people become professionals with a very high value type of knowledge and at the same time become leaders in their communities. For example, one of our agents is always called by the public hospital to interpret sign language for deaf, deaf patients, since there is no interpreter in the Brazilian health system. We work in low-income communities, but the discrimination between youth with and without disability happens everywhere. That's why it is now the time to bring this project to more young people. We have the content and the ability to replicate it anywhere in the world. If you have or if you want to be a former to bring it to your school, university, company, state institution, organization, or an online environment, we want to talk to you. Persons with disabilities have the right to participate everywhere. That is why it is fundamental that we create a generation capable to intervene whenever these rights are violated. Are you guys in? Thank you very much. <laughs> 